can you really do to keep your marriage safe if you haven't gave birth to your husband what do you think you can do to keep your marriage safe to this question it go for some of our married women a lot of married women that were not able to bear a child so stay tuned hello my beautiful wonderful people people of my world people that rock my world i say kudos to you guys i'm so happy i'm so glad that you people are also there for me all the why that all whenever i put a video you always be the first to be there the first person i'm going to shout out to is no other person is coco mama in fact i was so impressed when i saw her comment on the video i dropped last that she was the first person to comment on that video so this shout out good for you so i have a lot of amazing people but i'm going to be doing that one whenever i upload any video the first commenter i'm going to be shouting out for that person please if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please don't stop subscribing don't stop watching my videos because i appreciate you guys watching my video Please. please guys um today video uh i got a call from my friend that live in the states one of my friends like that so not like that we've been a very very close friend for many so many years back when we were in nigeria so we lost a contact but a uh, few years back we were able to connect but uh, uh she was like calling me four, four days ago telling me a lot of story that happened in her marriage so don't get it twisted don't say oh are you married for you to judge somebody has been married or be divorced so i'm a woman we all have an experience you know so this lady called me she said that uh, she went uh through difficulty in her marriage and based on what happened because of her childless when she was married to this particular man that she loved she actually loved from the bottom so, of her heart uh, as she was saying that um she went through this uh, difficulty in her marriage to be based on because she was not able to be a child for the man and she's a very working she's a working class lady that she work a lot and the man is a lazy bee the man is a lazy man he lazy like that is always sleep at home he doesn't work so when they waited for like two years, the baby was not coming, they decided to go for IVF. So you all know the meaning of IVF, you know? I don't know, a lot of you may know the meaning of IVF. So she was the one that brought out the money for this IVF. They tried the first one, it didn't work out. Like, you know, after two, two weeks or one week later, the thing was just go. You know what i mean so and another time again in six months after six months later she spent another money for the marriage to work so the same thing happened so the third one the same thing happened so let me just cut the story short she keep on spending that money at the end of the day they must stop bringing money for her rent and uh, bills to and the extent that even the woman brought out the money for she want to bought a house in nigeria so this must pretend to help her to uh, purchase that house so the man wrote his name and when she find out this man wrote his name on the on the on the document of the uh, property and the, when she said to have an issue with the man the man decided okay he added the, man, the woman's name on it so the third uh, tried of IVF that doesn't work out, that failed. So she decided uh, they were just living together like that. And sometimes, according to her, say, the man do go out. He doesn't come back until the morning. So later on, she heard that the woman uh, got another woman pregnant on the side. That was the man believed. At the end of the day, when the woman gave birth, it wasn't his, you know. And, and um, thirdly, and... Um, they start having this issue and that something happened that you can never believe that a man that you got married to he can go far to do such thing to his wife so we start accusing the woman infidelity you know extramarital affair 
Meanwhile, nothing like that happened because the woman was a stronger, she was a breadwinner in the house. Not that, not that the man wasn't getting something kind of, he was still making his money, but he never showed that he's married. He never showed the wife's loves and all that. She was the one taking all the responsibilities in the house, the bills and the rent and the feeding and all that. It was only the woman was doing all those things for the marriage to work. So my question is like this. Does it really call for this? Does it really work it? I know that kind of when you love somebody, you try to make marriage work. Then the woman decided to pack out of the house and she was the one paying for the house. She packed out and went to somewhere else to stay. And when the man also find his own way, you know, because when all these things happen, the family of this man never asked this woman, oh, our wife, what is happening? Or uh, why the nobody, even the man never apologized to the wife because what the man did, according to her, firstly, he sets camera, set camera in the house because the way she was making, having, uh, making this money and uh, the man was envious, was jealous of the woman. You know, you know how some men can do. Some husband, husband can also jealous wife. Wife can also jealous husband because of the way they are making money. Jealousy does not mean that it must be your friend or a family member or relative and all that. It can be just the man or the woman you are living with. That is where this uh, jealousy starts. Jealousy starts from partner, the people, the person you live with, your husband, your relation, your fiance, your boyfriend, or whatever you hurt anything you know so long you live with the person some people they are so jealous they are jealous in type you know because you the way you end According money to her, she said the way she this money came was horrible that and now they are dragging the house the property the whole the house they purchased with that money so the money is big and the man refused to hand over the house property a uh, document to her and all over, they are judging this matter, both a lot of pastors, a lot of family members, and palace, and um, elderly men, and um, they summoned the case, police, and all that, and the man also refused to drop the document of the house that does not belong to him. If, for instance, you got married to a man that was no issue between both of you, and property involved, which if the woman actually have part of the money, I don't know if it's, if she's saying the truth that the the full of the money they used to buy buy the house is uh, her own money, or maybe the man also have part of the money. Okay, for purchasing uh, that house, that uh, property. So I think it, the best they, uh, the best thing for them to do is to sell the property and take their part do you know how much you, you invest on the house and the man also know how much he invests on the house the best bet for the peace for peace to reign is for them to sell the house out and share the money this for story. me is a very long story if i should say to explain this story from the beginning to the end it will take more than three hour story because when she called me, she hold line with me more than only God know how many time, how many hours we spent online that day because I heard the story because it's good for you to hear the true story from the reliable source, okay? Not to hear from this, that, that, that. So I heard a lot of story about them, what happened because despite the distance, because we're closed, so that's why I'm able to know about this very particular issue. So she called me, then she tried to, I asked her, should I put it on my channel? I seek permission for her. She say, okay, so I'm going to go. So I decide to bring hey this issue here. So here is the end of my video. Please guys, whenever you find my video interesting, always put your comment below and hit the like button and on your bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you will be first to be notified and you will not be missing out any of my video because you will be getting a lot of just a lot of goodies like this okay guys and uh, i remain your host miss modella dtv so bye and 
until I come across your way next time. Bye-bye, my lovely people.